And there are always gray areas, like what we're talking about with, with the statement of work. Because, for example, if a company engages uh, an employee consultancy um, provider like you guys to deliver effectively consulting services under a statement of work, and then that turns into permanent placements, that's quite an interesting um, kind of, it's an interesting take on that model. It's transitioning from one thing to another. And that does require, it's, it's crossing over between procurement, buying services, and HR hiring people who are going to be employees in a fundamental part of that organisation structure. So, yeah, I think the dialogue between different departments within organisations is fascinating to see how that um, grows. Um, for us, because we're specifically focused on statement of work and services procurement, generally our, our stakeholders are procurement um, or finance, and obviously our users will be buying managers and suppliers and, and all sorts of different parties. Um, but for you guys going in and consulting for organisations, um, I imagine that must be quite challenging initially um, in some cases to make sure that the right people are around the table and that and that the right parties are being represented. Do, do you find that the case? Yeah, definitely. And, and it's it's finding that decision maker and also how the value of what you're delivering is going to benefit that decision maker. So you're right, procurement typically are trying to solve um, compliance or typically a cost saving benefit. Um, whereas HR come from a different perspective. And I think this is where, from a talent ecosystem perspective, talent doesn't always sit in procurement. Procurement is services. And so that's where you, you need to, and it's not trying to disrupt everything that they've done in the past, but it's just starting to chip away at some of those um, trends or ways of engaging resource and just validating, is that is that the best way to, to engage them? And how can we work more collaboratively together? And like you say, how can we transition some, a worker engaged here into the permanent workforce as and when we need it? Because there is a war for the talent and, and that's ultimately where, where everyone tends to sit. It's like they just want to get hold of that, that resource talent. So I think really uncovering all that, using your data, asking some questions, making sure that you're speaking to procurement, to the business managers and and HR and really getting an analysis of what that um, one what that organisation's business objectives are, um, but also what the behaviours are and, and and the compliance that they go through, and then coming up with a solution and going right. This is where we're going to start today. Small chip away. Let's start to build out that talent ecosystem so that you've got all those options and it's being communicated into the business. And then over time, you will see this massive change in, in how you benefit from a diverse, more flexible, more skilled resource than you probably ever have before. And, 